What is up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your boy, Big Homie Biz. Here's J Bob practicing a circus act. I love it when a circus comes to town. We're talking blading here every single week, so if you're new to this series, consider subscribing and following. Also, like this video and share it with the homies. Please share this, for the love of God. I'll do anything. We're gonna announce the winner of the 90th episode 5K subscribers giveaway. That was a mouthful at the end of this episode. And this episode is jam-packed with amazingness. So if I were you, and I don't wanna really like tell you what to do, I will watch the whole thing now. We're starting this off with products because I want to, but like I always want to. We're talking about Adapt for the third week in a row and don't blame me, okay? Talk to them. Tell them to stop doing dope shit. I won't have anything to talk about. Adapt launched their custom skate builder and I've been having the time of my life. You don't wanna see some of the bullshit that I've come up with. Tim Gunn would be extremely disappointed. You can currently customize the Brutale and the GTO skate. Both are 435 euros and 575 euros respectfully. The customizer is really fun, intuitive, and they have a gang of colors to choose from. That sounded like I was hired by them to talk about this. That is not the case. I just like it. Check them out at adaptunlimited.com. The link to that will be in the description. You know there's gonna be that one dude at the skate park who can barely royale who got these talking about, yeah, these are my pro models. Adapt's working on mass producing them. These are the prototypes right now. Birth Legacy dropped a skate this week and I'm sorry, okay? But these are for the little shredders. I know you're gonna see them and be like, damn, can I fit kid sizes? They dropped this limited edition 25th anniversary CE Daytona kid skate. That was a mouthful. That was just like a lot of words. Y'all don't wanna know how many times it took me to say that right. In 96, Chris Edwards designed the original version of these skates with rollerblade. But now the CE stands for Canyon Edwards. I love that shit so much. They linked up with Caltech Skates to bring the new version of life in 2021. And they're just gonna keep this legacy going. There's only gonna be 50 pairs available, so you wanna make sure you get on that. Link to that is in the description. That's gonna do it for products because that's all we have. Let's do some wheels and some deals because it gets me in my feels. I should be a rapper. All right, we got a lot to cover in this section, so let's get started with the biggest pickup. Fucking Bloom did it again. What did they do, Biz? They put four more people on their team. This team is stacked like a video girl from the earlier 2000s. Sorry, I was thinking about that and got distracted. Where were we? They picked up Victor Arias, whose birthday I missed. My bad, dog. Happy birthday. Hazen Bell, who I've honestly needed a new section from since the last one made me salivate. They picked up Duran Bickmore, who's putting it down for Utah. And John Sullivan, who needs to be making more edits with his BM because they can go toe to toe and it makes me happy and jealous at the same time. What a team. Am I right? Think about everyone I spilled the tea about. Cam, Tony, Gates, Victor. Their team edit is gonna be outstanding. Sick Your Thing welcomes Jimmy's sis to their 2021 team roster. And be prepared for so much more weird skating to come out and for me to talk about it like I had no idea it was coming. Jimmy gets added to the pro team this week on his birthday and I'm just glad somebody's taking him seriously. I think his skating is really unique and I know Remedies isn't gonna do anything with him so I'm glad somebody else is. And Jimmy, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news and to make you do more work, but I'm gonna need that announcement edit ASAP. I just can't wait to see how fucking weird it's gonna be. But I know you're working on it, and if not, get to working on it. And last but not least, one of my favorite female rollerbladers, Mary Munoz, got put on to Skate Pro this week, as they support her and her skate school, Roller Sports Academy. Honestly, I have no idea who's on that team. They got all the sports in that shop. Is it one whole team, or is there a blade, scooter, board, etc. team? I have no idea, but whatever it is, Mary is on it and that's all we care about for this story. Giving our girl what she deserves. Congrats on that, Mary. I'm really juiced that you have a dope shop sponsor backing you and helping you guide the youth. I'm gonna take a class. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. Okay, those are the wheels and the deals. Pretty exciting this week, huh? A lot of people got put on. Let's get in these videos so I can give you something cool to watch, besides my beautiful ass. Okay, so we gotta talk about Bobby. It. The man with an abundance of swag dropped a promo for those skates that OGs are still fighting in the comments about. And the shit is fire. 
Bobby was really in the streets with this one. And he used that Bobby Smurda song, which is just goat behavior. You know, as a collective, I think we all need to start calling this trick the Bobby. I think he's earned that by now. How the hell you get this shit done in the park and the streets? And can you teach me, at least into a phone pit or something? Make sure you check this edit out. Bobby is too flame, bruh, and he just keeps getting better. I don't know if you remember, but Sam Krause got another Pro A on 60, and even though that shit is red, which is a color I don't normally lean towards, the shit is still fire. But that was a while ago, and I guess since then, my man has been in the motherfucking streets. Because my man gave me seven minutes, seven of them, to let him know how he earned that new AR. This edit is also amazing, and he's just fucking it up out there. I need to come kick it with y'all for real. Skate the smaller spots while y'all take on the big stunts, and I watch from a safe distance. I really want to talk about how Sam left this dude hanging, a stranger, trying to get a high five in the middle of COVID. Are you crazy? I know your ass ain't vaccinated. There's seriously so much good skating in this project. This top soul hop the kink was so disrespectfully amazing. It reminds me of that fish brain in the mall. Your skating, Sam, is just fuck you to law enforcement. I love it, and I'm here for it. Clear as day, Hawk is a bad motherfucker. The song on this one is stuck in my head and I cannot get it out. I've been singing it in between takes, it's ridiculous. Hawk Trackler has a winner edit out called Damn Hank that made me think for a quick second that I've been pronouncing this man's name incorrectly this entire time. I was like, damn, no wonder he hates me. I'm the fucking worst. There's some really dope creative tricks in this one. It's just nice to see the guy that's behind the camera get in front and put it the fuck down. So Eugen is back, I know. I said that last week. But that also means that the Borkland boys are back in action, damn it. Get ready to have your fucking brain destroyed. The crew dropped F Rona 2, which is appropriate. We're back in March, where all this shit started for us. Not y'all, just us, like the US. It's six minutes of, bruh, what? Oh my God. Are you for real? Fuck out of here with that. Rollerbladers, you know what I mean. Okay, that's gonna do it for videos. That's too much dopeness for one episode. But wait, there's more. Let's get social. We're gonna start this off with two acids that are very negative. They have a very negative vibe. David Sizemore and Scott Quinn have been skating, skating. That type of skating where you're like, damn, them boys been skating. They've also been opening their beers the cool way, but that's not what we're gonna talk about here. The two of them have clips on the gram that are chill, but outstanding. David with the Aliyub negative star to rewind top acid that can make a grown man cry. Me, I am grown man. And this torque soul from Quinny is really what all we've been dreaming about. Like we all want it to look that good. Make sure you check these out. Also, just to kind of like double back, I may have started something with this bottle opening thing. I don't know the kind of influence I have. Adrian Deck has some quick clips on the gram this week, but they are very swaggy. I don't know if I can show them to you. I mean, I can. I'm just trying to make a really bad joke here. Skating Julian Boz's new adapt skates and the all white bottoms on these just set it off. I've been trying to tell y'all, but y'all don't want to listen to me. As I'm reporting this to you, I know Julian's edit already came out. I haven't watched it yet because I don't know if I'm ready physically, mentally or emotionally, but I need to get ready. Jordan Williams has a new edit on the gram called Searchlin, and I know for a fact that the LTE boys just don't stop working. They stay filming, stay in the streets, just destroying spots. All of them, you wanna skate that spot? I'm sorry, your trick vocabulary and swag level is not high enough to be skating that spot. I'm sorry, you can't skate with us. This edit features clips of Jordan, clips of the homies, and then clips of Jordan again. All of your favorites. Minus me for obvious reasons. I have to bring you the news if I'm skating. I can't bring you the news. Make sure you check this out if you wanna get juice for your next session. I miss the homies, man. I just miss fucking it up on a daily. We're gonna end this section with Chad Hornish making sure his knees still work. I feel like I made this joke before, but at least now I'm just talking about the right one.
that's going to do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following bladerunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you want to support them or this show directly, hit that link in the description. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the twib updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap. Every like, every follow really helps me out. Okay, now, now it's time. We're going to announce the winner of the 90th episode, 5K Subscribers Prize Pack Giveaway. That is a lot of words for a giveaway. The winner is, drum roll please, David Mascalo. Hit either me or Blader Union on Instagram and we'll get you hooked up, homie. Thank you to everybody who commented, shared, got other people to comment. This is just a cheers to the next milestone that we can hit and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So I just wanted to say that I appreciate y'all. For this week's ender, here's Tim Franken with a clip that shouldn't be possible. I've been playing this back and forth in my head, trying to figure out the physics behind it, and I just can't. 